Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I hope you had a good weekend. Historically, January, not a good month for earthquakes across the Caribbean, as a lot of us uh, know all too well, unfortunately. And this weekend and this past Friday, we've had a lot of shaking around. This is what just happened, again, near Puerto Rico. And this is not uncommon to have quakes of this mag magnitude, but there's been a few more uh, lately, just over the last uh, five to six days. But this just through the weekend, again, you see magnitude-wise, uh, just to the north of Puerto Rico and the British and U.S. Virgin Islands, north of Anguilla, about uh, 4.0. There's there's fault lines here, there's fault lines here, and some meet up over here. So I keep an eye on all of that. Not only do we cover weather, but I cover exactly what's going on uh, with the uh, earthquakes. 3.5 just on the southwest side, west of uh, Ponce, as you get toward Puerto Rico over the last couple days. So you may have felt the shaking. And of course, on Friday, we had that bigger quake. Fortunately, it was deep. It was just off to the west there of Guadalupe, 6.2 magnitude, which can cause serious damage, but it was so deep that fortunately the earth itself kind of absorbed the quake, which was some good news, but a lot of us felt that. We felt this as far south as Trinidad and Tobago, so plenty has been going on. Now, looking back in January, there's been these, uh, these quakes, and again, uh, historic quakes, uh, kind of infamous, if you will, 2020, a 7.7 .7 magnitude quake, Jamaica, Cuba, Cayman Islands, uh, dealing with the brunt of that also back in 2020, again, in the month of January, 6.4 in magnitude in Puerto Rico, and of course, 2010, that huge uh, massive quake over toward uh, Haiti, felt, of course, across the Dominican Republic as well, 7.0 in magnitude. So I'm keeping an eye on everything on this channel. I appreciate you sharing it. Anything I'm seeing with earthquakes, I will let you know right here. I've got you covered with that. Now, back to the weather side of this channel, what we got going on. Here we are in the Caribbean, the Bahamas, back through uh, the Gulf of Mexico. One front moving by, like I talked about last week in these videos, that it would just kind of get into the northern sections of, uh, say, the uh, northeastern, or rather, northwestern Caribbean. So Cuba, Cayman Islands, stretching back toward uh, Mexico, over toward Cozumel. Uh, so seeing slightly cooler weather by tomorrow in some spots, but not for all of us. I'm going to keep an eye on a couple more systems that are moving in. Throughout the week, I'll be watching how far south these dive across the Caribbean. So I'll keep an eye on those temperatures. Some of us have been enjoying some of the cooler weather that we've seen at times over the last few weeks. Now, here's the outlook today. That easterly flow is still with us. So, Guadalupe, Martinique, Dominica, Barbados, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago, right through Guyana and Suriname. The scattered showers, including Aruba, uh, Curacao and Bonaire. Now, here's the front back to the north. That'll bring us a few more showers back through the Bahamas as we go throughout the day, trying to clip parts of Cuba, mainly staying to the north of the Cayman Islands. But Jamaica and the Cayman Islands, we could get a couple of those spotty showers, one or two in Belize, but not a ton. Temperatures are going to be on the hot side for some of us. I'll get to that in a second. Flipping over to tomorrow, a little bit more action in the Eastern Caribbean versus the Western Caribbean, although Honduras, uh, as you get south through Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, scattered showers. The front up here, seeing some showers here, but here's that easterly flow. So again, St. Ki uh, Kitts and Nevis uh, over toward Montserrat, we may get a few of those showers. Watching over toward Barbados, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Grenada, spotty showers, Trinidad and Tobago again tomorrow. Rain chance a little elevated, so I'll keep an eye on them. Guyana and Suriname watching out for those scattered showers, which will be possible. So the forecast. For today, Jamaica, as I showed you, again, front to the north, a little more action off to the east. We're kind of in between, only a small chance of a shower passing by, say over toward Falmouth, Montego Bay, mainly dry, winds east, southeast, a little bit gusty at times. Haiti, it is going to stay on the hot side, 90s around Fahrenheit, 33, about 33 to 33.5 degrees Celsius. Find some shade if you can. Rain chance staying generally low across Haiti. May catch a shower in the mountains south side, say over toward Jacques Mel. We could get one or two. Trinidad and Tobago, a 40% chance of scattered showers. So as I mentioned, we don't have a washout over by uh, Port of Spain. Uh, but again, we are going to see the chance of rain just scattered about today and tomorrow with that flow coming in out of the east, easterly flow. 
32 kilometers an hour or 20 miles per hour plus as i mentioned in last week's video some areas of dust keep me posted on that in the comments section so again monitoring the quakes and still some of those aftershocks from that quake that we had on friday just to the west of guadalupe i'm keeping a very close eye on that watching some of the dust in the eastern caribbean and again that front just to the north that may drop the temperatures ever so slightly tomorrow jamaica to the north and again across the uh, bahamas so a slight drop in the temps for some of us watching those showers today across the bahamas and as i mentioned two more systems in the united states and throughout the week on this channel i'll be watching how far south those dive so i got you covered with the earthquakes with the showers the dust and what's going on throughout the week thank you for being part of this weather community and i hope you have a great day ahead